So what is up guys, can I come in today back with a brand new episode of 5 new console mods to hit the Bethesda on their website this week. This is going to be episode 347 within my series, but without further ado guys, let's just jump straight into the video. The Black Knight, coming in at 43.6 kilobytes of download. The Black Knight is literally a stock character with their own mask of identity, portrayed as villainous figs who are an amenity for misdeed. Nice to see that this playable race does actually actually have somewhat of a small lore slash backstory to accompany this particular mod. Now resists for this one are extremely high so do not worry about that one but for a few little bit of perks and a little bit of skillage of what this has and entails is a two-hander of 25, one-hander of 25, these are all going to be 25 by the way, block, enchanting, smithy, heavy armor and speech which is also incredibly nice. Now do not worry we will be covering a lot of races, there have been a lot of them to hit the site this week. This is is going to be one of many not just from this mod author but we will be covering more so if this is not your cup of tea and it doesn't cater towards you do not worry because we will have you covered this week honey the nord bear coming in at 53.1 kilobytes of download honey is a friendly nord bear that can be found near the lake in riverwood he usually is sleeping right next to his big pot of honey which you can actually steal i tried to do it in this video just to see how it went and personally it really didn't affect him too much don't be afraid to approach him however you feel just pretty much go right up to him and you can talk to him and instantly you will be able to get him as a follower he would like to follow you through your adventure and for your journey he also has a thousand septum on him to give you absolutely free also that little part of honey too now he is unaggressive and starts at level 20 and he will level up with the player all the way to a level thousand which is going to be absolutely massive he doesn't trigger any traps so do not worry about his size sort of stumbling into certain things like that and also he absolutely loves the honey he does actually have a nord voice too obviously not going to display it in this particular video but trust me when i say that on that basic but awesome at the same time a big old bear to go into combat to help you out if that is your thing then this is going to be a great mod for you increase population towns and settlements coming in at a incredibly small 1.2 megabytes of download for this one do not combine with the increased population original which we have got absolutely ages ago pretty much everyone has got that by now it's an absolutely phenomenal mod now well, what i can get from the two different mods is that the original of the increased population is going to be in main if not very large settlements to do within the game such as your main cities such as capitals and so on and so forth for this one it covers the smaller areas within the game that obviously don't have a lot of sort of community if not anyone actually being there so boost is that it will obviously clash with the original so if you are planning on grabbing this one you will have to delete or disable that one in due time now if you want to go and have a little read up and a full synopsis of this particular mod i highly recommend it. as always in everything that we do cover on the channel go in the description click the link and have a little read up before downloading personally i thought this was a nice new addition as well that download size is incredibly small and as well it is a nice new addition now you're probably screaming at me you're going kev this mod's been out for ages it has been on one platform but it's literally just come on to another platform so that is why i'm covering and it has just hit one of those particular platforms this week onto the site old adventurer's sword is going to be our next spot coming in at a whopping download size for what it is of 15.9 megabytes of a download adds a light quick sword found in the caverns of helgen when you start the game careful this one is a little bit tricky to find there's two different paths at the exit of helgen cave to get out and explore this one being on the left side instead of the traditional right side you guys will figure it out and find it for this one but this one the sword is modeled from the iron blade buffed up ever so slightly to fill the gaps within the hilt with the sword steel here it's a little bit more fleshed out this particular blade within this one i personally thought it was very nice there's a little bit of damage upgrade a little bit more of a speed upgrade on this particular one it is incredibly law friendly for a new and interesting blade with a spin if not a different taste of that particular name from an original iron sword nothing too crazy but i'm a little bit lost to see on how it is coming in at a massive 15.9 megabytes of a download for the fifth and final spot within the video is going to be Bat Vampire Lord. This one is coming at 35.4 megabytes of a download. Now for this one, it is a little bit of a tricky thing to grab on the PC. This is obviously a port all the way from the NexusMods.com. And over there, there is a bunch of manual files that you have to download and encode yourself. It's awfully annoying. But for this one, it is very easy indeed. It's basically compiled all of the versions that you would get on the Nexus over on to 
the first on our website, click up a button and away you go. Now, I'd recommend not having any other things that do change the Vampire Lord within your base game. For me, I don't have any. So for me, I installed this one and away it went. It's absolutely beautiful. This one is pretty much terrifying too, especially on sort of the uh, sort of sprinting animation to do with this particular form too. It's very nice indeed. But if you are looking for a creepy new version to obtain for a Vampire Lord, this one is definitely going to be right up your alley. It's definitely terrifying and also probably the best one I've seen for the Vampire Lord so far. I haven't seen too many. We've obviously covered an awful lot to do with the beast form, aka the were beast form, if not the werewolves within the game. There's a ton of those on the site, but it's nice to see that there is new Vampire Lord forms onto the site. So guys, that's the end of this video. This has been episode 347 within my series. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, I'd very much appreciate a like on the video. If you're new around here too and you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button. We are growing and hopefully going to be able to get very close, if not to 10,000 subscribers before the new year. But until the next one, guys, get a care for it and get a care out.